In 1981, Konami made one of the most popular arcade games ever, and in 1982, Sega and Coleco took that exact same game, made it smaller, and a little bit better. Introducing the best mini arcade that was ever produced of the Coleco line of vacuum fluorescent display game systems, Frogger, the arcade classic fully recreated in a portable format that was as faithful to the original as they could possibly make it. Gone are the black and blue plastic bodies of the previous models, replacing it with a bright green that complements the design of the game's main character. Though it retains the artwork of the arcade original, the overall design of this miniature is clearly a huge improvement, surpassing the black and wood models of Frogger that would be found in an arcade at the time. While I've had mixed impressions from previous mini arcade controls, this version stands out being the absolute best. While the design of the joystick is pretty much the same, the responsiveness surpasses all the games I've played prior. Frogger is a game where you play as a frog attempting to cross a street and a river. You must avoid obstacles and get a certain amount of frogs to the end of each stage. The gameplay is iconic, becoming one of the staples of arcades in the 1980s. Like all other Coleco Mini arcades, the gameplay is simplified, but unlike many of the others, this still retains the gameplay and feeling of the arcade classic. Some have called this version better than what you would get in the arcades, and I can't argue, because while it does remove a piece here or there, its core gameplay gives off a distinct feeling of streamlined tournament style gameplay that is an attractive feature for gamers that are looking to play a game all about competition and to battle to get the high score. Additionally, I believe that this version of Frogger has one of the best looking character designs for the frog. At this point in time, Frogger was usually seen from a top-down perspective, while in this version we see the frog's eyes and mouth, which change in every section that the frog jumps into. This, I believe, surpasses all other versions of the game at this point, giving the character more of a cartoon feel and personality that stands out. The unit offers two skill modes and no multiplayer, and has very few features when compared against the other mini arcades that were released. But I think that in this specific case, its simplicity is its strength. There's one button that resets the game, a skill switch, and a joystick. The Galaxian model by comparison offers double the buttons and joysticks and manages to squeeze in a two-player mode. I don't believe the designers of this game could think of any possible way to make Frogger a two-player game at the time, so the controls were limited to single player, giving a less cluttered feeling that replaces the arcade layout far better. Frogger's been released on a whole bunch of different platforms over the years, and the miniature arcade version is really cool. I just love the graphics and the controls, and this little miniature arcade aesthetic, just like all the other Coleco miniature arcades, well, I love it. This is a really cool design, and it looks awesome. So, because of that, if you ever catch one of these out in the wild, you gotta try it out. You might like it more than the arcade version.